Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 21 of Let's Play RFL, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so this is the Holy Land over here, and I feel like I'm slightly over-leveled for this point. Alright, I see a circle, but I need to find where an accessible one is. Are those fairies? What was that sound? Was it... laughter? Oh. I guess we will find out now, will we? Oh, we have to go over this direction. Oh, there's enemies over here. Oh god, all kinds of elementals. Oh, these are gonna be very annoying. I think we see something else too. Was that like a, a spirit? It's like a little bit of everything here. It's like, they must be for every... Oh, okay, we found a healer in this group. And they hit pretty hard. The water one takes, like, so little damage from uh, physical attacks. Oh, zero. Okay, so it looks like magic's gonna have to be the way to go. And even then, we gotta make sure that we're able to do enough damage. Defense is 400! Okay, we did just enough. Safe to say, we're gonna have some tough competition here. If we have to fight elementals all the time. Is there anything down here? I don't think so. Oh, there was just an herb. Just one herb. They're plentiful enough as is. Okay, so which way do I go? Seems like either way I gotta deal with elementals. And they definitely try to get in your way. Okay, those two pads actually connected. Where am I gonna find one of those, uh, elven circles to? Hopefully it's not too far from here. Is this where I have to go? Actually, let me just check out the rest of the, uh, this upper area before I think about leaving. Because I want to see if I can, can find that circle. Ooh, almost ran into that one. Trying to avoid as much unnecessary combat as possible. Like, at this point of the game, bosses are not a problem, but elementals are still a pain. I feel like this is not a safe area to be in. Oh, look at this place! This was once a garden. The elves used these places as shrines to worship the High Goddess. It's so pretty! Elven ability to wage war may have been sus suspect, but pretty gardens were always a specialty. Regardless, there may be some treasure left behind. We should have a look around. I bet this is the place that Old Man and Temple Orlean wanted to see. That seems believable. Okay, that rabbit is actually going through the chest. That's funny. It doesn't look like there's anything else other than gems. Hold on, something else twinkled. Nah, never mind. I, I was just imagining things. Okay, there's nothing else in this cave. All right. That was just all for a side quest. Good to know. Well, at least we got that taken care of until we find the old man again. Bye. <laughs> you 
Yeah, around here is where we started. Oops. Just a circle there. Some light armor four. Let's see, is that something I want? You know what? I'll take the drop in defense for more agility. Alright, let me scout out the remainder of this area. Because as long as I can do this, I don't have to worry about combat. I just want to see if there was anything I might have missed. Was there only like the uh, one uh, set of ruins about this entire area? So I know I found it here. Doesn't look like there's anything else. What if I did go all the way down? Like down this way. Well, this looks like another path you can take. Okay, I'm tempted to either go that way or the way that was hidden by a bunch of trees. I think I want to go the hidden path. Because that might actually have some treasure. Now, if only this butthole can move. Oh, don't move back there! I don't want to fight you guys. You take way too much time. There wasn't another path, like, through the stream. I really like this music, too. It just makes this place sound so much more mystical. And you can hear monkeys going in the background. Is this supposed to be some kind of forest, or maybe even a jungle? Makes you wonder. <laughs> And if it makes you wonder, then it makes this place more memorable. Etoric Grove, First Steps, or Angel City to the right. It's that sound again! Hey! Who's there? Hi. Look around you. Aha! could have sworn. Unless... Gotcha! Whoa! What were those? They look like huge furry bugs or something. They're fairies. Actually, the Holy Land is their home. Really? Interesting. I thought fairies died out long ago. No, they just went into hiding. There aren't many of them left, and they rarely show themselves to humans. Perhaps they sense the artifact of power we carry, or perhaps it is a coincidence. Well, that should make things interesting. Every story about fairies involves mischievous use of magic. Well, keep looking for Azari, but I suggest we stay on guard. If these creatures intend to play tricks, I suspect we'll be their targets. I still think they're bugs. Adrian, why do you have to be so skeptical? Even with everything right in front of you, you still have to act like that. This must be the grove right here. Or maybe we're not there yet. This looks like another cave. Just for uh, ingredients. Oh, I got caught in combat. There's a wisp, water, earth, sunlight, fire. Okay. The wisp dies rather quickly. And that is a good thing. I normally don't use, like, uh, buffs just for, like, random encounters. But I feel like I got no choice here. There. <laughs> get a lot of coins either like 25 that's pretty cheap there it is again okay 
Whatever you are, you better show yourselves. There's no need to be upset, miss. Oh. Aw, you're so cute. You're the once a nice elf lady is waiting for, aren't you? You mean Azari, I hope. That's her name. She's in Itora Grove right now. But we sealed that off so she wouldn't get hurt. There are evil things out to get her. We won't let that happen. Well, my name is Lita, and I'm supposed to meet her here. <coughs> so can you maybe lower that barrier for me? What if you're not who you say you are? What if you're the bad people and want to kill her? Doesn't this ring I've got stuck on me mean anything? Deanne's ring? Not to us. But a another thing here does. One of the other artifacts of power. If you bring it back to me, I'll break the seal for you. <sighs> There's always a catch. Well, at least it's something I already needed. Okay, where is it? A place the elves named Angel City. It's not much of a city anymore. It's east of here. Okay, fine. I'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> I'll wait for you right here. Okay. Alright, so I guess we have to go to Angel City first. And then you gotta go to the Grove. Alright, we'll do that. Hopefully the way to Angel City is not far. Wait, did I go in this cave before? I don't think I have. Why is an herb near lava? And how did it not catch fire? Weird. I will not question it, even though I just did. Oh, Angel City's right here. A lot of the areas in the Holy Land seem pretty samey right now. It's still nice. But I'm just wondering, like, what else is there to make it more distinguishable for their regions? I guess we're not going that way. No point for this plateau, but it's there. Huh. Alright, I guess I'll go down. Uh, let's see what's in these chests. Ingredients. Uh, gems! Okay. That'll make for easy money. I think instead of spending my money on armor, maybe I should be spending it on essences or other ingredients. Because then I can just craft, like, really good stuff. So this path was only just to get treasure and nothing else. All right, let me try working my way up. Like maybe on this bridge. Or maybe I should go this way. Hold on. This must be the artifact of power the fairy was talking about. Why is it just laying out here in the open? This is a trap, isn't it? You have received Maith's armlet, and with it, Lita has gained two free levels. Why am I here? What just happened? I see we should have been more skeptical of the fairy's request. They left the artifact of power out in the open as a trap, I think. Where we've been teleported, I have no idea. They seem so friendly. Well, now what do we do? Find a way out, I suppose. I I wonder. Did the fairies send us here to toy with us, or is there another reason? Regardless, we should be on our toes in this place. Who knows what other tricks they might play? Just one time. I like things to go the way they're supposed to. Let's go. What are you talking about? We saved the king. He didn't die. So I guess that's one thing that went right. There. That's where I'm going to put my uh, level ups towards. Not going that way. <laughs> Can't hop across that. Oh, come on! That was cheap. How was I supposed to dodge that? Okay, well, at least they don't hurt us too much. 
Actually, I got a good idea. Save on some MP. Make it magic even stronger. Somehow I feel that back card just a bit. But oh well. Why does it look like that water elemental is holding a shovel instead of a staff? Just throwing that out there. Um, let's see, I know I've said I'd rather get, like, crafting stuff instead of equipment. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's focus on medicine. Well, 400 HP is close to max. So why would I spend li on life potion 3s? Okay, I think we're good for now. We have a lot more consumables. I'm gonna turn back, and the reason why is because this is not the same path where we found that other encounter. So maybe I should go there first, because that looks like it could have a boss battle. You went back the same place you were already to right away. Come on. <laughs> Nonsense right there. I like how you're able to gain so much MP, like, right away. I think the higher your, uh, your mag, like your maximum amount of MP, the more of it you gain back each turn. I'm just wagering a guess here. If that's how it goes. Okay, that's that's kind of cheap right there. Fine, we'll fight. Okay, well, the reason why I'm not using story mode is because technically these encounters are still a little challenging. If the battles were easy, I probably would have done that. Otherwise, no, I can't. Can't justify it. What if there's like a save notification this way as well? Is this the way out? No, this is just a way for one chest. For a magic elixir. I mean, I won't complain, because magic elixirs are the strongest healing item. They're kind of like mega elixirs and other JRPGs. Like, they're able to heal everyone fully. Like, HP and MP. So I guess for a completely out-of-the-way route, to give us something that's going to be great for, say, a final battle. Can't really complain that much. I mean, I could, but I'll look like an absolute dink doing so. Take that just first world problems up the ass. Ick! It smells awful in here! Like a big dead fish! Anyth anyone else getting a bad feeling about this place? I find myself getting a bad feeling about almost everything these days. Oh, goddess. I know this smell. We're gonna die in here, aren't we? It's a giant octopus. That stench is, is musk. It's musk. It's mating season. Our fellas eroded over time, and the world has become cracked and torn. Long ago, there were fewer fishers and more seas. This ancient beast likely thrived in that time. Another fascinating history lesson from Professor Doran. Now let's get this over with. So, what's the deal with this thing? Well, Adrian, it's a giant octopus. Yes, good. How do we kill it? 
It seems to me those tentacles are the most pressing threat. Let's start with those. Works for me. After we kill this thing, I'm going to eat it. It only has 1,500 HP. Okay. Only the tentacles of this giant octopus can be targeted. They will randomly grab a party member who will be unable to act until the offending tentacle is destroyed. Oh, no. That is going to be a problem. I don't think they use magic. So let's just go after the tentacles. And there's four of them. That's good to know, I guess. Hopefully whoever is heavily buffed will not get grabbed. I'm thinking we're just gonna use... Yeah, we'll go with Elemental Burst. Splash! Oh, okay, so I guess that's considered magic? Then let me use Reflection then. But it shouldn't seem like magic. I mean, it's just splashing water. I've had cars do that to me all the time, and they're not magical. Just dinks driving them. Ink is considered a spell? Huh. I reflected it, but I didn't reflect all of it. Oh, Doran got grabbed. Oh. We just won. I thought you had to attack the body at some point. That was weird. Yikes! What was that? It sounded like it came from above us. Hopefully not the release of that thing's children. That would be just our luck. Don't jinx us, Doran. Oh, I guess we just leave. Okay, so I guess we have to look to see what has changed. And you don't know. <laughs> oh, for some reason, killing an octopus created a bridge. Game logic, everyone. Huh, these jabronis again. I'm glad whenever we kill a boss, we pretty much just get all our uh, stats back. Even if it's like a mid-boss. Makes things so much more convenient. Okay, I think we can pretty much own these guys now. I'd rather try to avoid them if I can, just to speed things up. Wait a minute, have we been here before? Oh, there's that barrier. Oh, don't stand in the way of that. Can't do anything about that barrier. Okay, so we should be going left. Another point of no return? Did that sound like a very large chicken to anyone else? Because that's what I need right now, a giant chicken. It actually sounded like two giant chickens to me. Perfect. Oh no, that's three. <laughs> oh, my mistake, make that three giant chickens. They are known as cockatrice, a rare creature that I thought had gone extinct. All you ever hear is about how beautiful and mysterious the Holy Land is. You know what? It's not that pretty. It sucks, I hate this place. Screw the Holy Land and its stupid giant chickens! Are you quite finished? I guess. That did not sound like what it should be. Okay, looks like we're going to have to fight our way out of this jam. If I know a thing or two about cockatrices, so I think they can petrify... Okay, no sense to use lightning, because then I'm like, it'll just, well, nullify its magic, and then Adrian's reflection is useless. So I'll let it cast magic, if it can, so it can bounce back at them. I think these 
buffs can stack, can they? Okay, it looks like Wind Slash is more physical than anything. That's not good at all. Yeah, we need healing now. How much HP do they even have? Only 1,800 overall. So they're pretty close to being killed. Yeah, I think we'll go with more ice. Why did I struggle to get that sentence out? Okay, they're almost dead. Okay, now it's just one. It's a green one. The green chicken survived. Huh. It's not long for this world. Oh my god, Doran used a physical attack and won. Why do they have emeralds on them? That sounds like a seal breaking. And there was nothing else here in this entire plane. All right. We got through that battle. There was an enemy hiding in the trees. What a load of crap. How could I have prepared for that? Wow. All right, well, guess we'll have to take care of things the old-fashioned way. You might be thinking, Bunga, why don't you just use story mode now? You can defeat them without them getting a turn. Because I'm pro-torture, guys. Nice statue over there. All right, what else is in this cave? Wonder if we'll appear on the other side of that original seal. What now? I really hope this is the last one of these. With all these monsters, at least you'll always have a chance to hone your skills, girl. Every dark cloud has a silver lining, I guess. Ah, the Sky Guardian. I see now what those fairies had in mind. They're evil, spiteful, bug-like creatures that thrive on the death and misery of others? They might well be, but there is a legitimate reason to have sent us here to face this beast. The Sky Guardian protects the Holy Land from intruders, and appears every few hundred years. It also preys on fairies. Alright, alright. Well, let's just kill this dumb thing already. 5,500 HP. Oh, those are high stats. The lowest is 300. The Sky Guardian is an ancient creature that defends the Holy Land against intrusion. It uses powerful sky-based attacks and will apply a degenerative wind debuff every so often. As it stacks, the debuff will do damage rapidly and cannot be removed! Oh, that is shite. Hopefully it's a spell. Let's try this. Maybe I can debuff it. Okay, Wind Slash is not a spell. Because Adrian got hit by it and could not reflect anything. Wait, did his reflect go away? Because it doesn't look like it's glowing anymore. Is it changing form? Wind burn has been applied to the party. Oh, come on. It gets to do that randomly? So I guess we have to heal more often now. What do I have that can be any good here? Probably drink sunlight. 
Yeah, whatever I lose from this debuff, I can just get it back. That'll work for me. Oh, jeez, I don't have enough. I ran out of MP pretty fast on Lita. Let me guess, another debuff? Windburn 2 has been applied to the party. Great, so now we're losing even more HP. It looks to me like that's all we're losing, though. You know, provided we don't get too capitulated by the other wind slashes. Oh, we won. Huh. Everybody leveled up. Sky Guardian has been defeated a did. Now let's apply our level ups. Please warp us back to where the fairy was. Oh. Now this is where we got the artifact. Oh, oh, we're back. I'm gonna squish those dumb little fairies for this. Please don't. Can you realize that anger isn't gonna solve all your problems? She probably won't, but oh well. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. And definitely this. Okay, you know what? That's my fault, but they're gonna pay the price for it. I think it's to that point where I can justify it. Alright, time to go back to those fairies and preferably not squish them. Last thing we need is more enemies here. Especially fairies. Hi. Hello. You have the artifact of power? You little creep! You tricked us! Ah, don't be upset. We had to make sure you were who you said you were. I'm not sure if we really figured that out. Those monsters sure were a problem. Thanks for taking care of them for us. Yeah, great. You're welcome. No more tricks, okay? I promise. I'll have my sisters lower the barrier around Etora Grove. Azari is waiting for you there. It's just east of here. Just north of the crossroads. You can't miss it. Well, I've had my fun for today. Goodbye. I'm gonna bring a fly swatter next time I come here. Well, if it gives you any consolation, you may never come here again. <laughs> well, what's over this way? Nothing. Oh, hang on. There's water I can swim into. Could there also be a path to the north? Oh. Well, that was utterly pointless. Oh, there's the Holy Land teleport. Tor Grove is over that way. But what else could I look for around here? What's over this way? Oh, wait a minute. We were we were here before. Um I'm going to save here actually. And in the next episode, we'll head for the grove. Goodbye everyone. <laughs>